Over time, heat has become one of the largest bottlenecks for computing. Just look at graphics cards. Their heat sinks have been getting larger and larger with each passing generation. But recently, Fror Systems has designed a new cooling system that may revolutionize how we cool these devices forever. This solid state cooling system provides a solution for one of the biggest problems we have right now in the cooling space. The boundary layer. When air is moved over a surface, it slows down the closer it is to the surface it moves along. If you ever used a can of compressed air to clean something and see a thin layer of dust after you're done, that would be because of the boundary layer that we're talking about. Just like how this creates an issue when cleaning, this creates an issue when cooling, but the difference here is that the air being used cannot saturate itself to its full potential. To be able to break through this layer, we need to be able to move air much, much faster, like 125 miles per hour fast, or 200 kilometers kilometers per hour, and Fror Systems has found a way to do so while delivering it in a package that is less than 3 millimeters thick. This is done via a super thin membrane biting at an ultrasonic frequency, rushing air onto a heat spreader to soak up as much heat as possible before it's pushed out the exit. My first thoughts on this is that it would create a high loud pitch noise, but Fror Systems claims their two solid state coolers, the AirJet Mini and AirJet Pro, can operate at peak performance while having a max noise level of 24 decibels, which is the same as a Noctua fan for example. And as for the cooling capacity, the Mini can provide up to 5.25 watts of cooling while only consuming 1 watt of power, and the Pro can get 10.25 watts of cooling while only sipping 1.75 watts of power. I know it doesn't sound like the most impressive numbers, but this technology is still very new, being the first of its kind. And while it may not be able to cool your 4090 anytime soon, it may be reasonable for a subsequent generation of this tech to be integrated into gaming laptops in the near future, especially when it's very easy to daisy chain multiple air jets together via heat pines. Fror systems have already shown this to be quite effective in an ultra thin 15 inch laptop, allowing the system to run faster and quieter while using three air jet pros and a couple of heat pipes. This chain cooling system can allow up to 28.5 watts of cooling capacity. One big issue this new cooling system does open up is the possibility for dust and water to make its way into the device since it does need a new stream of fresh air to operate. Most laptops and phones now tend to be sealed to prevent these contaminants from working their way into the chassis. Luckily, four systems have planned for this, and the back pressure generated by the AirJet Mini and Pro is rated at 1750 pascals, enough to be able to reliably draw air through an IP68 dust resistant filter. This will allow laptops or phones using the Mini or Pro to be able to cool effectively and keep dust from getting inside and clogging up the coolers. Admittedly, this does all sound too good to be true, but if Intel and Qualcomm are partnering up with them to integrate these coolers into future devices, there must be some promise behind it. Maybe we'll even see new laptops rolling out in the next year or two equipped with the AirJet Mini or Pros. In the meantime, check out this video about Intel's solution to their graphics problems, and I'll see you next time.